dear fellow engineers from the African continent, dear colleagues from the Federation of African Engineering Associations, as president of WFO, the World Federation of Engineering Organizations, it is my pleasure to deliver this message on such an important occasion, and I want to warmly congratulate Papias Kazawadi as he takes the president's office of FAO. I am very confident that Papias will successfully lead the African engineering community through the path of building stronger cooperative structures and supporting initiatives that will drive Africa's sustainable development. Please allow me also to express my gratitude towards the immediate past president, Madame Kalyan Bou Shedid, who has been representing FAO and the WFO's Executive Council during the past two years. There is now a solid tradition of African professional institutions leaders making a great contribution to WFO in various ways. That includes sharing some of our technical and the policy committees, such as Martin Manoa and Papias have been doing, and serving at WFO's executive board as Mustafa Sheu, Mustafa that will succeed me next October at the, our General Assembly in Prague, becoming the first African president of WFO. This will be a historical moment, and I hope that many of, of you will be present. I am also glad to address the ceremony as it is held in Kigali, where the Institution of Engineers of Rwanda will host our next regular Executive Council meeting in October 2024. To articulate accurately the global and continental scales of cooperation, to me, is very critical in reaching some of our common ob objectives. We share a strategic vision together with UNESCO as well that engineering is essential in reaching the sustainable development goals and this is even more important when it comes to fostering technological capacity building in developing countries. We have taken an integrated approach to address the most pressing challenges of climate change and the environmental multifactor crisis. This includes, of course, technological innovation to build and improve resilient infrastructures, water and food supply systems, and decarbonized energy production. But it will also take a great deal of cooperation at institutional levels to raise and harmonize the standards of engineering education to ensure that we are building the right capacity through the right engineering skills. WFO's leadership will remain by your side and in the coming years to face those challenges. Be all assured of my friendship and gratitude to all those years of kind cooperation. Thank you very much for your attention.